Hello there, welcome to the internet. What have you been doing online lately? Shopping, trying to learn about something, getting entertained, submitting paperwork, or maybe you're trying to run your online business. If you're online, you probably know how to read. You're also probably better connected and wealthier than many others in your country. The internet is an amazing technology that brings us all together and makes communicating and working with each other much easier than ever before. It's also spawned new services and businesses we couldn't have imagined only a few years ago. And yet, many don't have an opportunity to take advantage of the technology the rest of us now take for granted. Although cell phones have caught on like wildfire across much of the globe, access to the internet hasn't. But this isn't only a question of technology. Many in the developing world lack the basic reading and math skills needed to use the internet. Business regulations skewed against entrepreneurs or tipped in favor of established online companies choke new online companies before they even get started. And when government offices aren't organized to work with each other, going online to get that all-critical permit is as convoluted and difficult as ever. How can we ensure that all of us, not just the fortunate ones, benefit from the Internet's digital dividends? Internet access needs to be universal, affordable, open and safe. Quality of education needs to be improved so that children, workers and the old have the technical and social skills needed to participate in a digital economy. Business regulations need to help make doing business easier. And public service providers need to be motivated to serve and be responsive to citizens. The internet has very quickly transformed our world but we still have a long way to go. It's our internet. What do we want to do with it?